Hi, Aaron Gupta from Red Hat. Thank you very much for joining us at Jack's London. So you recently moved to this new role. Uh, what drew you to Red Hat? Yeah, um, I am the director for developer advocacy for all of their JBoss middleware. Um, and as part of that role, I'm responsible for developer outreach um, for anything JBoss. You know, it is either the JBoss commercial product or the application server, which is a community pro community version, which is a Wildfly. I work very closely with my colleague Ray Plosky, who's on the developer programs side of it. So together, two of us, we are a lethal combination for Red Hat. Excellent. And uh, previously, you were working uh, on the Java E7, of course. How did the launch go in June? Very well. Actually, I had an excellent time in all my 14 years at Oracle, and I would say Java E7 launch was really the pinnacle of my career at Oracle. Um, we worked for about seven months on the entire launch part of it, um, in a literally in a cross-functional global team all around the world, recruiting partners, recruiting customers, recruiting you know our community members, and showing them, telling them, asking them to actually help us make the launch successful. There were a strategy keynote by the vice pres executive vice presidents. There was technical keynote by myself and Linda DeMichel, who's a specification lead. And then there were 15 different breakout sessions by different specification leads, which were highlighting the different technologies. So all in all, it was an excellent launch, one of the finest ones under Oracle's umbrella. Uh, we had 10,000 plus viewers that who watched, who watched it basically. So very good feedback in general and lots of positive tweets around it. Which features in particular do you think have uh, been best received? Yeah, I mean, there are a couple of features that have always been very well received for Java E7 in general. The first is a WebSocket one, and I think that's primarily because there's a lot of craze around WebSocket. And second, because the way Java E7 has extremely simplified on how the API is available, you literally take a POJO, throw an annotation on it, and that's a WebSocket endpoint, and the programming model is simple and very intuitive. And the second one where I've seen a lot of traction is batch processing. Um, so far, folks have been relying upon third-party proprietary APIs, but now being standard as part of the runtime and the platform itself gets folks really excited. And in general, I've seen, um, I mean, these are the brand new technologies, but in general, folks are very excited about the simplifications that we have done as part of JMS, uh, the new features they've added in JAXRS, um, and a lot of other cool technologies. And uh, finally, you're a veteran Jax London speaker. Uh, what draws you back to the conference each year? Yeah, well, this is my fourth, I guess, fifth year at Jax London, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it, you know, coming back here. To me, personally, it's a lot about building those relationships. Um, it's not like, you know, you go to a conference, speak there once, and then get out of it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot about going there. You know, I've met certain attendees who have been here, coming here every year, and it's really good to meet them again and again, that the message that you have been giving, they're actually getting it and they like your message. So, and that really what draws me. Uh, people like you, you know, people like Sebastian, Mark, everybody, the organizing team is just fantastic. Uh, very proactive, you know, the, the level of support that the events team provide and the passion of the attendees. And to me, this is really a premier event in the London community, which is exclusively focused on Java, which is sort of the value proposition of Jax. And that's what brings me back to Jack's London time and again. Aaron Gupta, Red Hat, thank you very much. Thank you very much.